Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another three box break of Fanatics Under Wraps Autograph Baseballs. Random player break number 40. I'm a man, I'm 40. One spot gets you nine players. And one spot will get any and all multi-signed baseballs. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate you. Now let's multiply that list by nine and then randomize your names and teams. Oh, so both closers are in the Kimbrel and Jansen, both in the 390s. Yeah, both of them should hit 400 by the end of the season, right? Even with, I don't think Kimbrel's going to get a lot of, is he going to be the closer out there? I don't think so. Maybe he is, I don't know. Um, let's put your names in the first list. I think Jansen is going to be, should be closing for, for um, for Boston though, so he should be able to get that probably midway through the season. All right, there are the player names right here. All right, let's roll it, randomize it five and a four nine times for each list. We'll put the results in that first tab there. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Victor down to James. So the MLB record for homers over four for a player over forty is Daryl Evans back in '87. Is Raul Banya still in the league? There's five and a four nine times for the uh, for the players one. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. Wait, what do you mean Raul Banya has 28 home runs? He wouldn't break 34, right? He'd have to break 34. He'd have to get 35 home runs. All right, Trevor Story down to Mariano Rivera after nine. All right, so here's the list just as is, and then I'll alphabetize by your first name. Come on, Rex. You gotta look at you gotta look at the dates of the things you're Googling. It's like, man, Raul Banyas hasn't been around for a while, and if he only had 28, he still didn't break it. But now I'm curious to know If that record still, if Daryl Evans' record of 34 home runs by a player over 40 still stands, and who, and how many players are still left that are over 40? All right. Now let's alphabetize by your first names. And Eric, there are your players right there. More players right there. And your last spot mojo players right there. James, here are your guys. A lot of players for James. A few right there. And then there's Sal. And Victor. There you go. All right. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the three box break. So stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. I mean, compared to then, we do, Rex. That's why people are living longer. All right, trade window closed, ladies and gentlemen. And let's play some Who Am I? Yeah, nutrition, modern medicine, Rex. That's what keeps people alive. All right, who am I? I am no longer with us. I passed away in 2020 at the age of 91. I 
Had a lifetime 236 wins and 106 losses, a lifetime 275 ERA. 1,956 strikeouts, played for one team my entire career. Second ballot Hall of Famer with 77.81% of the vote. Ten-time All-Star, six-time World Series champion. That, that'll narrow things down. Uh, if you played for one team your entire career and won six World Series. Cy Young Award winner, a World Series MVP, three-time AL wins leader, two-time MLB ERA leader. Who am I? In the wake of uh, in the wake of uh, Yogi Berra's death in 2015, a writer from the New York Times suggested that this player was now the greatest living Yankee. And wild thing, Ricky Vaughn wishes he had a 2.75 ERA. Or 236 wins. No, K-Line didn't win six World Series, nor did Koufax, nor did Don Drysdale. Al K-Line is also not a pitcher. Also, and I pretty much said it was a Yankee. Come on, someone's got to get this. This guy's a legend. There you go. James got it. Whitey Ford. Man. I'm starting to think there's no baseball fans in the chat. There it is. There's the Whitey Ford autograph. Nice. You got a bunch of, a few hologram stickers here. Nice. And Whitey Ford goes to James. There you go, James. Well, according to that Times writer who said that Whitey Ford was the greatest living Yankee after Yogi Berra passed away in 2015, um, Who's the uh, who's the greatest living Yankee now? All right, who am I? I'm an active outfielder in Major League Baseball. I'm a righty. Lifetime, 284 batting average, 748 hits, 220 home runs, 497 runs batted in. A four-time All-Star, an AL MVP, an AL Rookie of the Year, a three-time Silver Slugger, a two-time AL Home Run Leader, an AL RBI Leader. Yeah, I guess greatest living Yankee now after Whitey Ford, probably Derek Jeter. Well, if I start reading off these accolades, you're gonna, you guys are gonna get this pretty quickly. I broke this team's franchise records: most home runs in a season hit at home, 33, beating some guy named Babe Ruth at 32. Most home runs in a season by a rookie, 52. Joe DiMaggio had previously held the record at 29. Most home runs in a single season, 62. Roger Maris previously held the record at 61. First right-handed hitter in Yankees history with at least 100 RBIs, 100 runs scored, and 100 walks in a single season. Most home runs, four, in the first seven home playoff games, tying Reggie Jackson. Tied for most home runs by the All-Star break, 33. Roger Maris also had 33 in 1961. And fastest to reach 60 home runs in a single season, 147th team game. Has the home run AL record for the home runs in a rookie season, strikeouts in a single postseason, strikeouts in a rookie season, home runs in a single season, 
has an MLB record striking out in 37 consecutive games, most strikeouts by a rookie with 208, most walks by a rookie with 127. First rookie in MLB history with 45 home runs, 100 RBIs, and 100 runs scored. Fastest to reach 60 career home runs. Most strikeouts in a doubleheader with eight. Most career home runs in a postseason. Winner take all games four. Most home runs in a single AL season with 62. Part of the 50 home run club. Part of the 60 home run club. A home run derby champion. Rookie of the year. All-star silver slugger. Yeah, you know who it is. Aaron Judge. That's awesome. Nice. All right, Aaron Judge, who has who has the Judge Eric clicks. All rise. Nice Aaron Judge autograph baseball. All right, third and final. Hmm. Well, this is a bit of a letdown because not that the player is not great, but we had him in the first box. It's Whitey Ford again. James, two of the three, two Whitey Fords. You're starting your Whitey Ford collection, whether you intended to or not. There you go. Still great, though. Great player. Three Yankees. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.